Can you host a Minecraft server on a Chromebook? That's what I set to find out. With the same amount of money you can purchase a Minecraft Realm with, you can actually get your own domain, use some computer that you have, or even buy a VPS, and you can do more with a server if you host it yourself. Could I somehow host, using a Chromebook, a Minecraft server, so a bunch of people could join? Um, Chromebooks are, very very underpowered so if you have a spare laptop i would recommend that over anything else but if the chromebook was all you had and you wanted to do this it is very much possible i don't recommend you doing this at all but if you only have a chromebook it is technically possible but i'm gonna tell you it's not gonna be fun we are going to get started with putting ubuntu on this so we can play minecraft from the server. This is gonna be a server now. First we boot into developer mode, which I think we hit control D. D. Oh, recovery mode first. So we do recovery mode. We hit escape and refresh and power at the same time. How do I do that with one hand? I can't, I guess that's the point. All right, Chrome OS is missing or damaged. Please insert a recovery USB stick or SD card. We are going to now enter developer mode, control D. Okay, I'm, what? I did it right. Okay, control D, control D, control D. Okay, I turned off the Chromebook and then turned it back on and now it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, which is it is in recovery mode. And then OS verification is I wasn't done reading that, bro. Okay, so I already did that part. So now, so I have to disable the hardware write protection, which means I have to take out the battery and then turn this off. There we go. That worked for like a That's when it's old. Please opened it. I gotta disconnect the battery connector, which I think is right here. I think that's the battery. No, I think it's this. I think it's this thing in the middle of it. What's that? That might be something else. I think that's it. I think that's the battery connector. We'll see. Okay, now what we're supposed to do is boot using external, external software. So from the login screen, uh, press Alt Control F2. Oh, we're on, okay, cool. And then log in with user Crow, Cron OS. So Kronos OS at localhost. I think, I think this is fine. We'll see. Um, I don't know also if I have, I'm not connected to the internet, so I don't even know if this will work. Dude, it's working. It's working. I didn't realize that was gonna, I didn't, uh, wah, wah, wah. It has software right protect. What is software right protect? Press Y and then enter. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this again. We let's go. Oh shoot, I spelled it wrong. It is firmware. There we go. Okay, so now it's doing something again. Oh look! Yay! Yay! Look at that! Look at that! Um, so the only thing we can do is number two. Yeah, 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 I've been warned. Do I want to store a firmware backup? Let me find another flash drive. Backing up the firmware. Remove the stick and hit enter. Remove. Enter. <laughs> Press enter and eventually your device will boot. Alrighty, so now this is what it looks like when you boot, you get this. There's no OS on it anymore, so we're gonna go ahead and put on uh, Ubuntu server because we're gonna be using this for Minecraft. Uh, exit. Um, do, 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 do. We're gonna do Ubuntu live server. Hopefully I don't do anything wrong and break everything. Okay, my favorite part. 
And now here we are, um, where the Chromebook is running Ubuntu server, and this is what I'm going to be using for Minecraft. Using the Mr. Chromebox text scripts made it a lot easier to install Minecraft server on a Chromebook where if you had to use Chrome OS, I don't even think it's possible. So I'm glad these scripts exist. And then it became easy for me to do what the next step is, which is actually just running Minecraft server like any other Linux machine. Now we need to download Minecraft server onto the server and then actually host it and get it going. It's good, I guess. I think that's good. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. So now that we got that, we have to go ahead and download the Minecraft server. So what we're doing is I'm going to Minecraft.net, downloading, um, copying the link to my um, clipboard, and then we're going to do curl, whatever it is, which means it's going to be server jar. Gosh darn it. Um, doesn't seem to see anything. I guess it's not being shown on the network. Um, preparing world. Oh, I guess it's not done. It might not be done yet, actually. All right, it seems like we're done. It took, uh, what is that in, in regular time thing? Uh, 27 seconds. I don't know why I even needed to do that. 27 seconds, it did take a while. So let's go ahead, refresh, server NT, pausing. We'll have to do a direct connection because it's this, isn't, or we can do add server. Minecraft server, um, Chrome book MC. And then the address is, MC uh, two. I mean, I guess that's it's the default, so it should just be MC dot local. Cannot connect the server. Unknown host. Okay, so we'll figure this out. Um, I guess it doesn't resolve host names in the same way, which I guess I. Sh oh wait, what? It worked. That worked. I don't know what I did. I guess just getting rid of the local worked. Oh, we're in. Look at that. We're in. Oh shoot, there's lava. So this is me successfully hosting on a Chromebook right now. I don't know what the resources are looking like. And also, um, let me see what the commands are. Minecraft server commands. Okay, can't keep up. Is this server overloaded? So it's lagging a little bit. Um, I'm technically, I, I guess what I would need to do is test letting someone outside of my network connect and then also maybe having like a couple of people on at once and seeing how how resilient this chromebook is okay no it's using all the ram it's using all the ram and there's a ton of swap space but it's not really using that there's got to be a way to make it a little bit more optimized that i'm just not seeing so right now you're watching me actually hosting the server to the outside world, not using port forwarding in the conventional sense. I'm using Pangolin, which is a great piece of software. It's open source and I uh, have the supporter edition where you can actually have uh, home resources or resources located in one location and it can connect to another resource. So if you purchase like a VPS from like DigitalOcean or something like that, you actually can host your home resources externally. So it's like Cloudflare Tunnel and uh, NGROC technically. I was able to do it. It was not the strongest piece of technology to use to host the server, but it's definitely doable. So to answer the question, can you host a Minecraft server on a Chromebook? You can. Now, another question should pop up in is, should you? Should you actually do this? And I would say the answer is no. What I would recommend is purchasing a VPS and a domain and then just doing doing it that way because it will scale a lot better. Um, if you're just doing something with your friends and you wanna have maybe at max seven people, sure, this is perfect for that. Um, it's involved, um, but it's perfect for that. Um, but if you think you're going to be doing a Minecraft server for tons of tons of people, that's when you have to like just purchase dedicated hardware or software for scaling that out because a Chromebook is not gonna cut it. Uh, one gig of RAM is not gonna cut. It. I think it's literally one gig of RAM on this Chromebook. Not gonna cut it, but it was really fun to break the Chromebook because it is notoriously, there's not much you can do with it. It's basically like a browser box. Um, like there's 64 gigabytes of storage on it. Like that's a flash drive. All in all, this, this was a great little experiment. Uh, I will likely make a tutorial on how to host 
a Minecraft server the home way, um, which isn't necessarily cheaper than a realm per se, but you do get a bit more freedom for more or less the same cost. So uh, I will be doing a tutorial on that. And if you're interested in uh, just joining a little community uh, of people who are just learning how to do this stuff and sharing it with everyone else, I have a Discord. I also have a website that has blog posts, which I think is a more accessible way sometimes of like learning some of this tech stuff than trying to watch videos because sometimes you don't get everything or they're going too fast and stuff like that. So I totally understand. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, feel free to comment.